G'day viewer, just a short video, let you know what I've been up to, which is more than I wanted to get up to. Um, see this here? This started off as a half hour job to put a pair of extractors on. And it's turned out with the heads being ripped off and then another set of heads being bought and being reconditioned. So. Once again, I got this thing ripped apart. I don't think this thing was ever meant to drive more than 100 kilometres on the road because every time I get it going, I pull it apart again. Anyway, I've just finished cleaning up all the engine block and the pistons. I'll probably polish the top of the pistons. Um, I'll show you what I did in a minute. That's a, that's a past job. I had to replace the knock sensors and then all those gaskets. I'll show you the other side. This is only done on a mobile, so I apologise for the shaky camera work. This is the other side. This engine has almost 300,000 Ks on it. Doesn't look too bad. A bit worried about putting new heads on it, but um, it didn't use any oil before I pulled them off, so I'll show you the old heads in a minute because I totally destroyed them trying to get the bolt out while it was still on the car. Um, yes, so like I said, half hour job. I'll show you the rest of it and the extractors I was putting on. Just a small set, if I can find them. This is all the bits of the car, old bolts. Got to get new bolts. Don't know where I put my extractors. That's good. Probably lost them. Anyway. Right. These are the old heads. Which don't look too bad at all. Which is pissing me off even more. Um, this is the one that I killed. And I'll show you what I mean by killed. If I can... Just hang on a minute. Bear with me. There it is. Look at that bit of handiwork. Tried to get the bolt out while it was still in the car. Big no-no. Made a mess of it. That's what it should look like. That's my handiwork. Which is going to cost me another set of heads. Probably could have got this one repaired. And re-tapped. And I probably should have. But... Being an idiot, I couldn't handle that being on the car, so I went and got the same set of heads, 241s, and got them done up. Now, where's my extractors? I want to show you these extractors. Uh, I don't know where I've put them. There is somewhere, they can't be far away. I think they're up here. They're only small. Um, you know what? Here they are. Here they are. That's them. What's them there? I got these because they bolt on. They're just a direct replacement for your original exhaust manifolds. So that's what I wanted to do, and that's what I started doing. The first bolt I put the spanner on, bang. Snapped. And... You wouldn't believe it, the heads that I bought, they were two four ones as well, had exactly the same bolt snapped off. It's this one here at the front, right here. Where's my finger there? On the right hand side, so it must be very common. I don't know if that bolt actually goes into the water jacket or whether I drilled into the water jacket, but that's what sort of finished me off when I pulled the drill bit out and all the coolant started pissing out so that sort of did me in anyway when I put them on I'll try and make a video of it because I've got a stand for this but yeah that's where I'm up to I was watching another bloke on YouTube he reckons you should polish your top of your pistons it sort of discourages carbon build up but these things weren't really bad you know they were pretty good it took like I said it took me an hour 
with scourers. Started with brake cleaner, if you ever do this. Brake cleaner works, but I found it a lot easier just doing it dry. I started with brake cleaner and that, and I'm rubbing and rubbing, and, and I thought I'm going to try this dry. And um, it works a lot better when it's dry. So, yeah, if you ever have to do it, a lot of people on YouTube say use brake cleaner and that, but um, if it's not that bad, these had a fair bit of gasket shit on them. Um, and I just did it dry. Anyway. Next video will probably be the bottom end hanging out of the car when I get it going, so I'll see you then.